Hey, wait, is that a Windows phone in 2023? No, it's just an Android phone running a Windows phone launcher on top. Here are two cool Windows launchers that I've tried recently. This one is called Launcher 10. It's pretty good. It has that familiar layout and offers you a lot of customization features. You can fine tune your animation, you can change the grid size, and it's quite fast and responsive. As you can see, it scrolls very smoothly. Adding apps to the home screen was a little confusing at first. You have to press and hold and select this pin to start option because this home screen is called start menu, right? So that was a little confusing at first. But once you figure it out, it's fine. You can customize the icon, you can resize it, you can remove the background frame. You can really make it your own look. You can even resize the tile and make it look unique. That's all good, but my one complaint is that the one of the most iconic features of a Windows phone, that is the live tiles, those are behind a paywall here. They are only available after a premium subscription. I mean, I get paying to remove ads, although I didn't see any ads in my time of usage, so that's confusing. But the live tiles, I wish it was available in the free version as well. But overall, it offers a lot of customization features and it does work quite well. This was recommended to me by a lot of people, so I had to check it out. But I have to say it's not my favorite. The next one is. This is Square Home. It's another Windows-like launcher, which I've covered in a short. It has a lot more features, including a drastically different UI selection right at the beginning. If you go for a default setup, you will be greeted with the you know familiar blue colored tiles window, and you can add a variety of tiles for free. You'll even see that familiar animation here when you're opening an app which was missing from the launcher 10. This one is pretty spot on. I didn't like the app opening animation in launcher 10. You can see it has those dynamic moving tiles and you can easily resize an icon just like that. Animations are a lot more bouncy and fluid. I like this. You can even add these special cube tiles which are basically a combination of multiple apps on each side. So it's like a cube which you can spin around and access different apps. So if you have like smaller hands you can keep multiple apps in a single tile making it easy to reach with a thumb. Overall, this is my favorite Windows Phone launcher. I'm not sure why many of you said Square Home is not as good as Launcher 10, but I disagree. So go ahead and check out these two. And if you have used any better Windows Phone launchers, let me know in the comments.